Welcome to H&B Farm in beautiful Kamloops, British Columbia. Hi, so I'm currently walking through the Vancouver airport, actually. It's been really busy. Millie's puppies came a few weeks ago, actually on Halloween, um, which is fantastic and very exciting. Um, I've been trying to get the footage up, but I've been really busy with work. Um, so here it is. Uh, and I will jump in and share some additional details with you guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. He's building a nest. Messing up the coverage I put over her carpets. Oh well. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Are you taking care of? Oh wait, this would you, this would be like your great grand yes. puppies. Millie. They're Beatrice's grandkids. Yes. So they're your great grandkids. This has been going on since four in the morning. No pushing, just panting. And so this is considered stage one labor. This can, I guess, go like to 24 hours. And especially for a new mom, it's when her cervix is dilating. So poor Mill, I keep taking her for little walks outside, bringing her back in, and we're trying to make sure someone's with her all the time because she'd rather be with us. And don't move her bedding. I just moved it and she got very upset and started nesting again and moved it back. So I learned my lesson. Come on, Millie. So I can't leave the well-being box or else she gets really upset. Good girl. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Good girl. Really good mama. Yeah, so our Melapoo. So we have a laundry basket there uh, for when she's pushing, she gets kind of erratic. So we just quickly move the puppies to the laundry basket under the heat lamp. Um, and then they're safe for a bit. And that's it. And then we give them back to her because she gets upset. Coming to you from sunny Vancouver. Um, so as I said, Millie's puppies arrived. Uh, we had a really rough night. Like it took the entire evening for them to be born. Um, I think we started around eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and the final puppy came at six. She did have nine puppies um, as we expected, but it was very sad. Um, one was born stillborn, um, very small and just underdeveloped. Another one was uh, completely paralyzed and we tried for days to keep him alive uh, without success. After a few days, it was just, and it's probably for the best, as sad as it is, uh, Mother Nature has its way, her way, and it's very sad, but that happens. And then another one um, was just very, very, very weak. I tried again, we tried, we tried, we tried to keep him warm, we fed him, we did everything we could and he didn't make it either. So. We're left with six amazing puppies that are going to wonderful homes. Uh, and here's some footage of them uh, a few weeks later. Ooh. 
Okay, mama. Oh, we're just really tired. Are they driving you crazy? Good girl. Oh, my favorite activity is just weighing these guys. Oh. 2.9. Okay. Oh, he's talking. He's gonna bark. So you can see here, um, Igor is 2.9. So I weigh them and I make sure that they're gaining weight every day. <laughs> Are they barking at you, Hannah? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Puppies. Puppies. Hello. Do you guys want to wake up and say hi? Oh. Hello. I was too tired. Oh, okay, Casper's coming. Here comes Casper. Oh, Igor's having a dream. Oh, Chucky's gonna get up, he's hiding. Oh, here they come. Hi, everybody. Hey, Frank the Tank. Oh, everybody's waking up. Oh, it's a big stretch. Oh, so tired. Every, oh, go back to sleep, yes. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry the um, videos have been a bit spotty. I am back at work and it's very busy. Uh, so I'll try, oh, in the airport. <laughs> I will try my best to get videos out more as I have stuff coming up. I keep you posted on how the puppies are doing. Thanks for watching, bye.